you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm gonna be going over the top 10 players that you need right now, Madden Ultimate Team. Now, I did this list like three weeks ago when the game first came out. Things have changed. There's been new players. I'm ranking them in order from one to ten. Now, just because they're at ten doesn't mean that they're not as good as the players at one. It just means that maybe I don't see as much long-term like longevity with them. And by longevity, what I mean is how long that player could be on your team to maximize your coins, right? Because if a guy that I think will get an upgrade to the end of the year or to legends, and you want to power, and you get him right now, and you want to power him up, let's say one of the legends like a theme diamond. Let's say that McAllister, like Deuce McAllister. Let's say he could be the best running back in the game right now. And you put all these coins, you put like 200,000 coins worth of training, powering him up, getting abilities, getting chems. And then like in two weeks, three weeks, he's not the best running back anymore. He's not one of the best running backs. And then now he doesn't get an upgrade to maybe Ultimate Legend. So now he's not really useful and then you gotta buy another running back. Like let's say a Barry Sanders or a Danny Tomlinson. So th this list is mostly that the top 10 players are all pretty equally overpowered to an extent, but not all of them are long-term guys on your team. So before we get into the video, boys, if you guys are new to the channel, smash the sub button. Let's keep this grind to 10k going. Also, turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. Let's get this video to 300 likes. You guys have been killing it with the like button, so not really too concerned about that. Also, comment down below if I missed anyone or if you disagree with anyone on my list. Now, let's get into this video. I got my list right here on my phone, like per usual, and it's a pretty good list. I'll start out at number 10, I'll work my way down to one. So, I'm going to do this with the auction block. I typically feel like this is the easiest way to list things because everything's just right here. So coming down to 88, 89s for rank number 10 on the list is going to be Mr. DeLamarcus Lawrence, Tank Lawrence from the Cowboys. Now you might be looking at his stats and you're like, okay, so yeah, he's pretty good, but I wouldn't say he's overpowered. It's not about his stats. It's about his chems. So his chems are, why can't I see them? Really? I have my DeMarcus Lawrence. I mean, I pretty much know where they are. I like how it says a zero there. It's just like lagging. So I know he has edge threat. He has edge threat and two of the things that I clearly can't see right now, but they're overpowered chemistries. Now, would it, like a Reggie White with these chems be better than him? Probably. But the difference is the Marcus Lawrence is only going to be 300k just about. Uh, no, 281. He's going to be a little in the, in the middle of 200k. So we're there. And all he's going to cost you is just that. You put him in your lineup. A Reggie White would cost you like 280k. Plus, another 100k worth of trains to power him up. And then, another 100k worth of ability. So, he might be four or 500k. So, Mark Storrance is a nice plug-and-play guy. That's how I see the superstar players. They're plug-and-play. You buy them, put them in your lineup. They're pretty much powered up ready for you. They're like pre-powered up cards. So, they're very, very useful in that sense. Now, would I recommend that you get him for long-term? No, that's why he's a number 10. But my, but my superstars are plug-and-play. That's what I love about them. You just toss them in your lineup. They play like a powered up and you can sell them back for their price when you're done with them. You don't have to power them down. That's what I really like about them. So, he won't be a long-term card most likely on your team unless you're like a Cowboy fan. I feel like they'll be better left ends. He will get upgrades during the season because he has the Marcus Lawrence. But, as far as much superstars, they're more of plug and play guys. Now, next in this list is going to be Marcus Allen. Why is he number nine? It's because of longevity. Right now, do I think he might be the number one player in the game? Yes. But we're already like three weeks and I know there's a new running back coming soon that's going to overpower. It's going to be more of a power than him. There's going to be like a Barry Sanders, a Ladanian Tomlinson. There's going to be something. It's going to be a new Ezekiel Elliott, a new Saquon Barkley. Once someone catches up to his speed, it's pretty much over as far as his run of terror. There's going to be plenty of other running backs. He's they're still going to be amazing to use, but he's not going to be the most ha like clear-cut, overpowered running back. So right now, is he the skill of a one or two? Yes. But long uh, longevity makes me have to wonder, like, will we have another Mark Allen until Christmas? Or maybe we won't have until Thanksgiving? Or maybe... Ultimate Legends, like you really never know with some cards like this. Like Marcus Allen's kind of new to the game. He's not, he's never really been a guy that just gets a ton of upgrades if he even is in the game. So for that reason, he's got to be at nine. Now coming in eight is a personal favorite of mine that I really want to pick up, but he's been a little expensive. Now this is another guy with long uh, longevity concerns, which is why he's not the top. Willie Brown. Willie Brown is probably the best cornerback in the game right now. You put lockdown on him. He has both man and zone uh, thresholds. The press threshold and the play rec threshold and if you power him up he'll be even more above that and he'll have an 88 speed this card is one of the fastest cards in the game with all lockdown coverage stats and he can jump he has decent excel and good agility that alone and he has good hit power and he has good catching this card's probably the best cornerback in the game but again i can't justify willie brown because of longevity 
last year the only card i remember seeing from him that was like his upgrade i guess you could say was around the super bowl time when we got those free 95 um players they had the purple cards his like playoff card and it was not that we got for solo challenge that was the last time i really saw a willie brown card that was above a 90. so until ultimate legends you can't really expect maybe another willie brown now could there be a christmas ghost of ghost of past something yeah that's christmas that's four months away so he's not gonna be the best cornerback for that long but in the moment he is overpowered but can i recommend him for the long term not exactly now another guy on this list that i really really like he's been a staple on my team you guys know that is ken houston he's the fastest safety in the game minus pat tillman obviously we have to power pat tillman good hit power good zone bad man but he has good excel 80 tackle and 85 play record 85 pursuit he's one of the, he's probably the best strong safety in the game right now as long as you don't have pat tillman powered up but again he's only seven because longevity I can't see this card taking it too long because again he could not he might not get an upgrade till christmas to thanksgiving to ultimate legends till super bowl so that's a long time from now he will not be the best card by then so could you power up and keep him there yeah but not everyone has coins like that to just have a guy powered up sitting on their team not not being used for months you know that's a waste so that's why i don't have him there now an honorable mention that i actually didn't put on this list only because there's a better guy at his position is khalil mack khalil mack is the second best left that's our linebacker i will get to the number one but Kalomax is definitely on this list, just not at the moment. But definitely don't forget him because he will probably get an upgrade in the near future. Maybe most feared, maybe team of the week. So Kalomax will be on this list, just not at the moment because I don't think he's the most overpowered because he's another guy at his position. But, but he will be more long term better than the other guy, which is why don't forget Kalomax. Now, next on the list is a guy that I really love on my team. He makes plays. His stats aren't exactly the best, but he really does make plays. And for that reason, I know he's gonna get upgrades, so I had to put him on the list for that reason. If you guys don't know, you probably should know by now. Where is he? Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey has a decent speed. He'll hit the man thresh and the press uh, and the pressing threshold, and he's almost there on the zone coverage. Now, you know he's gonna get a card in the near future. He's gonna get a team of the week. He might get a, a most fear card. There's so many things that he could get because it's during the season. So obviously current modern day players are what i care about more on this list because they're going to get upgrades all the way through the season and when the season's almost done that's when the legends and stuff start getting all the upgrades so that is when i'll be more concerned about them but jalen ramsey at the moment he's solid he's not as high as the top five only because the stats don't show it right now but he will get an upgrade so longevity he's got to be up here now the next guy is a guy that's been on my team since like day one of this year you guys know who he is aaron donald once i find him right here aaron donald he has decent speed for an end, but he has 88 play rec, 88 power move, 86 uh, block shedding, 89 strength, 81 tackle, 81 excel, 85 finesse move. Now this card overall is a good longevity, going to get tons of upgrades, team of the weeks, most feared, Christmas cards, ghost of crowd, ghost of present, if that's even a thing, I'm pretty sure that is a thing. You know, going to get end year cards, team of the year cards, this guy's going to get cards all year, I have no problem slotting my right end for the whole year, so that's why he's at number five. Number four is a guy that will get upgrades. He will get upgrades, he's modern, and he's a plug-and-play guy. So those are so many reasons to want him, which is why he's in the top four right now. This guy makes even more plays than Jalen Ramsey. That should have given it away. Of course I'm not going to find him. Oh, right there. Stephon Gilmore. He's got 85 speed, 88 excel, 88 agility, 92 man coverage, 89 zone, 83 zone coverage, 88 press, 8, 99, 89 play rec, 84 jumping. So if you put the zone uh, lockdown cam on him, he will get the threshold for press and play rec, and he already has it for man. So that's huge for how this game plays right now. And he comes with preset abilities, which is shutdown corner, acrobat, and I believe like pick specialist. So that all together is a plug and play power up. So he's pretty much powered up already. He's gonna get tons of upgrades this year because Stefan Gilmore always gets upgrades. He can get team of the weeks, same thing, most feared, Thanksgiving, Christmas. There's so many things he can get. And just in the season, Mud Heroes. So for that reason alone, Stephon Gilmore is going to be four because he's going to have tons of upgrades. He's already plug and plug and play powered up and he's a beast at the moment. So he has so many things going for him. Next on the list is a personal favorite player of mine. Not the first, the second first. Because my first, my first favorite player in the NFL is Saquon Barkley. This guy, trust me though, he's a beast. I got to get to him. Odell Beckham Jr. got the card art change. He has 87 speed. So he's, in my opinion, I call him Tyree Kill with hands. 87 speed, 89 jumping, 87 catching, 82 catch in traffic, 89 spec catch, 86 short route running, 85 medium route running, 84 deep route running. He also comes with pre-built abilities, which again, it's not letting me see them right now, but I think it's like, uh, I think it's maybe post-specialist. I forgot what that is. He's got like a go deep route specialist and 
something else. Sorry, guys. I really don't know them off the top of my head. There's a lot of abilities to share. But he's, in my opinion, he's Tyreek Hill with hands. If you compare him to Tyreek Hill, he's pretty much Tyreek Hill with hands. If you power him up, he will be one speed lower, but he can catch so much better. He has abilities pre-built in. You can power him up. And also, you can have him the whole year. He's going to be getting Team of the Week cards, you know that for a fact. Could get a Mud Hero card. Odell always gets cards. Limited time cards. I have no concern with Odell this year as far as getting cards. So for that reason alone, I think Odell is easily a top three player. Now next on the list, I can't show you guys this through the auction block, so I'm just going to have to compare it to my team. Take a low Mac, which is why Khalil Mac wasn't in the top 10 just yet, because Von Miller. Von Miller is the best outside linebacker or best defensive player in the game at the moment. He's better than Khalil Mack by a mile, as you guys can see. He beats him everywhere. Now, the only thing with Von Miller is that, he, yeah, he got this card, but he might not get a card. Unless he gets a Mud Hero card, which I don't think he will, because I don't think they'll give him a 93 Mud Hero card. He might not get an upgrade for a few months. So, Khalil Mack will probably get the next big upgrade. So, that's when Khalil Mack will be better than this Von Miller. But again, I can't. this Von Miller is going to be the best defensive player for at least a month. So, that is why he's number two, because Von Miller is also a long-term option. You know he's going to get team of, the week, team of the Weeks, maybe Most Feared, Christmas. He always gets tons of cards. So he's definitely a long-term option, but I feel long-term, once Khalil Mack gets that next card, he'll be better than Von Miller. So when that happens, I will update this list, and Khalil Mack will definitely be on it. Now, boys, first overall guy. He was tough to put him there over Von Miller, but long-term, this guy's going to be better than Von Miller. This card is the greatest card, one of the greatest defensive players of all time. Lawrence Taylor LT. I'm going to show you guys my powered-up version so you guys can see what he looks like. 85 speed, 88 excel, 86 strength, 86 tackle, 85 play rec, 86 block shed, 90 power movement, 88 finesse. If I put the chems on him, like uh, what's it called, like pass rush or run stuff, he will get the finesse move threshold, he'll almost get the block shed threshold, the play rec threshold is almost there. This card, and he has an 85 speed, he's one of the fastest guys on defense at outside linebacker. I put edge start on him, I put um, under pressure, and I believe power specialist. All those together, if I blitz with him and Von Miller on both sides, when I do pinch buck, both of them break through right away. This is one of the most overpowered cards, or the most overpowered card, I should say. I did rank him one in the game at this moment. And he's always gets he always gets tons of cards. He always I don't want to say always, but he has gotten harvest cards before, like the Harvest Master 96 Lawrence Taylor. He always gets an ultimate legend. He could get a Super Bowl legend. There's so many things that this guy could get. I highly, highly recommend you pick him up. And he has the longevity of a god. He's going to be there the whole year. People, Lawrence Taylor is one of the few cards in this game you can say right now, like you can put in your team as a power up. And you will have him an outside linebacker from now to the day this game dies. That And that, that's a fact. That is so true about Lawrence Taylor, guys. But that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel and you did enjoy the video, make sure to smash the sub button. We're grinding out to 10K. We're almost at 7K. We got to keep this going. Trying to get to that 10K subscriber special. And even if we don't hit it, guys, I still will show you guys something around that time because I think I have this planned anyways. But hopefully you guys can hit it so I feel more accomplished at the time when I do it. And also, guys... If you haven't already, smash the like button on the video. Let's get this video to 300 likes. Show some support. Comment down below if I missed anyone. I feel like I hit everyone properly. But in case I missed someone, comment down below so I can fix my list and adjust it. But guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out.